Good evening to everyone, Veda. I hope everyone is right now. सभी का प्रिपरेशन हो गया होगा मैक्सिमम इसलिए नहीं सो आज थोड़ा सा रिवीजन कर लेते हैं बेटा जितना हो सका उतना आराम से ज़्यादा भागम दौड़ी नहीं है जितने टॉपिक्स हो सके उतने फास्ट से अगर आप लोग आंसर्स आ रहे हैं तो जस्ट गो ऑन राइट द आंसर्स ऑन योर ओन सो डेट इट हेल्प यू फॉर मी एंड प्लीज डोंट शॉर्ट इन द क्लास एंड डोंट मेक द नॉइस अच्छा चाहे एक बच्चा हो या दो बच्चा हो जितना तक टाइम हो सकता है उतना तक हम लोग रिविजन करेंगे इन शह ओके तो स्कोरिंग टॉपिक्स पहले कर लेते हैं छोटे छोटे चैप्टर्स उसके बाद अगर टाइम परमिट कर रहा है तो बड़े चैप्टर्स भी कर लेंगे मैक्सिमम कोशिश यही रहेगी कि मैक्सिमम जितना फिजिक्स का पार्ट हो सका उतना पार्ट हम लोग इसके अंदर रिवीजन कर लें ठीक है सो स्टार्ट कर लें तो पहले से छोटा सा टॉपिक स्टार्ट कर लेते हैं बेटा इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव्स इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव्स पार्टिफुलेशन इसके अंदर पहले फॉर्मलेस क्या है एक बार जल्दी से देख लेते हैं देन विल ट्राई टू गो फॉर द न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट वन देखो वॉल्यूम लो है वॉल्यूम तो जितना हो सका उतना मैंने डाल दिया है उसमें हाँ मैं थोड़ा हल्लू बात कर रहा हूँ बेसिकली रात का टाइम है शायद कभी साउंड ना हो जाए ठीक है डिवाइस कर लेते हैं पहले So the first point in this one is about your electromagnetic waves. Okay, chalo. How the electromagnetic waves are being produced, beta? You know that electromagnetic waves are produced by which kind of waves, beta? Accelerating charges. Hey, can it? They are being being produced by your accelerating charges, and it doesn't require any medium. It doesn't require any medium for their propagation. No medium is being required, and it can travel in your vacuum. Can travel in your vacuum. And what type of nature they are, beta? Can anyone tell me? They are transverse in nature. They are transverse waves. and they can be polarized transverse waves and they can be polarized very important point so this all the three points are very important electromagnetic waves are being produced by an accelerating charge doesn't require any medium for their propagation they can travel in the vacuum and they are transverse waves and it can be polarized and we know the energy of this one beta energy kaise nikalte hain kisi ko yaad hai energy is equals to half into epsilon or not into e r m s square और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड में लिख रहे हैं सो इट इज हाफ इंच योर बी आर एम एस स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय योर न्यू नोट सो ये वाला फॉर्मूला अपने को याद में रखना है सो ई इज इक्वल्स टू जिसे हम लोग एनर्जी डेंसिटी भी बोलते हैं एनर्जी पर योर यूनिट वॉल्यूम एनर्जी पर योर यूनिट वॉल्यूम चलो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इसमें चलते हैं बेसिकली नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला If I am writing the relation between electric field and magnetic field, you know that electromagnetic waves are being perpendicular to each other. ये मान के चलो अगर x-axis है, ये मान के चलो अगर y-axis है, and this one is say for example of your z-axis. 
If the magnetic field is in the z-axis and electric field is in the y-axis, the wave will be moving in the positive x-axis. The wave, the wave will be moving in the positive x-axis or perpendicular to each other. So, B K beach may ki angle kitni regi beta 90 degrees. Every one is nothing but 90 degrees. That means electric field is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Magnetic field is perpendicular to the velocity of your propagation of your light, velocity of your propagation of your light particle. The ratio of electric field divided by magnetic field is known as of your velocity of light that is nothing but equal to your C. Okay? E by B will be equal to your C. I hope everyone remember this relation. E by B will be equal to your C. And another one more relation is also there in this one that is E bar cross of your B bar is equals to velocity of light that is nothing but of your C bar. Okay, and C bar gives your beta direction. This is giving me the direction, not the velocity of light. This is your direction. E bar cross B bar will give me the direction of the velocity of your propagation of your wave. Is it clear for everyone? Velocity of light or form by other C is equals to one by under root of mu naught into your epsilon naught. Very important formula. And velocity of light in medium is given by the formula V is equals to one divided by this one is under root of your relative permeability, absolute permeability, and relative permittivity and absolute permittivity. Okay. If I am writing the ratio of this one beta C by V, what it what will give me beta? Can anyone tell me? Refractive index, refractive index of formula kya? mu is equals to velocity of light in vacuum divided by velocity of light in your medium. So that is equals to, agar if I take the ratio of both of them, what happened beta? Mu naught, mu naught, epsilon naught, epsilon naught will get cancelled. So this will be under root of your mu r into your epsilon naught. Clear for everyone? Isn't it? Now, during the medium, what remains constant beta? During the propagation or during the medium change. So, during, during medium change. Medium change. Medium change matlab kya beta? What do you mean by medium change? If it is moving from the rarer medium to denser medium or denser medium to your rarer medium part of relation. So, hum log isme lik sakte hai. V is equals to your N into your lambda. V is equals to your N into lambda. That means frequency will be remaining for me constant. N is equals to your constant. N is nothing but your frequency. Here, V is equal to your N into lambda and frequency remains constant when it is been moving from one medium to your another medium part of relation. I hope you are clear with this one. Or is can the chota sai concept karlete? That is the wave nature ka bib thoda both of neku knowledge wana chaye. That is nothing but of your concept of your wave. Basic equation of wave care beta Y is equal to your A into your sine. Omega t minus of your kx plus of your phi. If it is minus, it is moving in positive x-axis. If it is positive, it will be moving in the negative x-axis. I hope everyone knows that basic knowledge basically. But anyhow, in this one, omega is nothing but a fever, angular frequency. K is your angular wave number or propagational constant. Capital A is your amplitude and Y is your disturbance of your wave, isn't it? So, omega, it can be calculated by the formula. Omega is equal to 2 pi into your frequency. And propagational constant is K is equal to your omega by V or it will be equal to your 2 pi by your lambda. 2 pi by your lambda. So, frequency will be equal to your how much for me? 1 by capital T. Reciprocal of the time period is known as a frequency and V is equal to your N into your lambda or else I can write that one as lambda by your capital T or that will be equal to your omega by your K. Any problem? Another clear it? See, same sign of omega in K means propagation is in the negative direction. Beta. Clear for everyone? Isn't it? If you are getting negative sign means it is moving in positive x-axis. If I am writing the equation y is equal to a into sine omega t plus kx plus of your phi, that means it is moving in the negative x-axis part of relation. I hope you are clear with this one. Then uske andar, uske baad, we need to remember a small part in this one. That is nothing but of your concept of your radiation. Concept of your radiation. So, what are the radiations in this one? The first thing is what we need to remember in this one is nothing but intensity. What is the name for the another name for the intensity? It is also called as of your energy flux. 
energy flux so intensity is equals to intensity is equals to power divided by area power divided by area unit is watt per meter square okay then pressure will be equal to how much in this one better pressure is equals to your intensity divided by your velocity of your light pressure is equals to what beta intensity i divided by your c and momentum will be equal to how much beta kisi ki aage momentum can be represented by the formula momentum will be equal to your p into your a into t or that is nothing but of your energy divided by your c energy divided by c so if i am talking about your observing power if i am talking about your observing is it when area of light is been incident on a substance and it is been observing then pressure will be equal to your intensity by c and momentum will be equal to your momentum will be equal to your u by c if it is reflecting if the ray of light is been reflecting then momentum will be equal to your 2i by your c and the momentum will be kyunki momentum bhi p se represent karte hai beta yahan par aap log confuse hote hai bolke main directly letter mein likh raha hu so that will be equal to your 2u divided by c part if you like is it clear for everyone any doubt any this one clear in a sabhi ko so let's try to do fastly the numericals based on this basic knowledge beta jaldi jaldi khatam karte hain basically so the first question in this one so the first question says right now for me the electromagnetic radiations are been caused the electromagnetic radiations are caused by a stationary charge a uniformly moving charge an accelerated charge and all the above part of relation so what is the answer beta stationary charge is producing electric field uniformly moving charge produces the magnetic field accelerating charges are responsible for your इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक ही बड़ा हो गया ठीक है सो सी विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन ओके नेक्स्ट वन आउट ऑफ़ फॉलोइंग ऑप्शंस व्हिच वन कैन बी यूज्ड टू प्रोड्यूस द प्रोपगेटिंग एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव ए चार्ज मूविंग एट कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड स्टेशनरी चार्ज ए चार्जलेस पार्टिकल एंड एक्सिलेटिंग charge part of relation obviously an accelerating charge is responsible for an electromagnetic wave direct theory question next one the electric and magnetic field of an electromagnetic waves are in opposite phase and perpendicular to each other in opposite phase and parallel to each other in phase and perpendicular to each other in phase and parallel to your each other part of relation you know that electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other and they are in phase because they should be in phase in phase means right now for me what beta they should be perpendicular they should be perpendicular and they should be in phase in phase and out phase a zero and 180 degrees ka difference okay chal the oscillating electric and magnetic field vectors of electromagnetic waves are oriented along the same direction and in the same phase and uh, the oscillating electric and magnetic field vectors of electromagnetic waves are oriented along in the same direction and in phase Uh, the same direction but have in phase difference of 90 degrees mutually perpendicular direction and are in phase mutually perpendicular direction but has a phase difference of your 90 degrees kisi ko answer idea hai iske bare mein the answer for this one is there mutually perpendicular directions and they are in phase isse pehle bhi aaya same question basically which of the following statement is false for the properties of an electromagnetic wave both electric ha uh-huh, someone is raising the hand bolo beta ha uh-huh, yeah. चलो ओ सेम फेस चलो which of the following statement is false yahan par statement usne false bola hai so little bit careful for the properties of electromagnetic wave both electric and magnetic field vectors attains a maximum and minimum at the same phase and at the same time the energy in electromagnetic wave is divided equally between electric and magnetic vectors both electric and magnetic field vectors are parallel to each other and perpendicular to direction of propagation of the wave these waves do not require any material medium for the propagation obviously to d option is correct for me so both the true wrong nahi hoga both electric field and as well as of your magnetic field whatever we are taking right now for that one are parallel to each other no electric and magnetic field are not parallel to each other and perpendicular to direction all of them are perpendicular and electric and magnetic field the resultant wave is always perpendicular to that one so obviously false statement will be the c and baki ke to pure clearly same ho jayega chalo next one dekh lo beta uh if i am writing the next one right now the ratio of the the ratio of the contributions made by the electric field and magnetic field components to the intensity of the electromagnetic wave is 
इसे क्या आते हैं ऑब्वियसली सेम रहेंगे इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड परपेंडिकुलर है वन इज टू वन डायरेक्ट थियरी क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का नेक्स्ट वन द रेशियो ऑफ योर इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव द रेशियो ऑफ योर मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड टू द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर एन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव प्रोपोगेटिंग इन द वैक्यूम इज इक्वल टू यूर हाउ मच What is the condition? Ratio of magnitude of magnetic field to the amplitude. यानी we know that ratio of your magnetic field by your electric field will be equal to your one by velocity of light. So I've got again a technical problem with this lab now. Do request all of you to please rejoin once again, beta. So थोड़ा power का network का problem हो गया मेरे को. So please try to rejoin it. दो मिनट में बेटा 